First off, my father was in the First World War. My brother was in the Second World War, four years in the Pacific. My second brother was in the Constabulary Forces in Germany. And I was four years in the Korean conflict. And I'm very, very proud to say that this that these children that are getting up and speaking are the reason we went over and fought for their freedoms. For their freedoms we fought, and that freedom is freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Now Judge, Le Judge LeGuerre, I'm sorry to say, was a complete uh, mishap, so to speak. He has to remember that we live in a democracy, and in a democracy, majority rules. Okay, he did not look at the majority of people. He looked at one individual. Now, we don't follow one individual, we never have, nor will we ever follow one individual. She has a perfect right to stand and say she doesn't believe in God. That's her right. She is also has the right to turn around and say, I'm sorry, I don't want to go into that auditorium and look at that prayer. She has that right. She doesn't have to go in and do that. Nobody is holding a gun to her head and say, you have to do this, you have to believe in God. No, it's your right. I went and I fought for that right for you. You do it. You express your feelings. But you cannot take the feelings of the majority and to follow you. I'm sorry to say, that's not the way it works in a democracy. 30 seconds, sir. In a democracy, you follow the leader, and the leader is the majority. Please, understand this, I'm not against you. Please, please direct your comments to us, not to uh, anyone else. Okay, I'm, I'm not against the, this young person in any way or fashion. She has a perfect right. I just like to see, and being not a political issue, as I say, for this to be reversed, because I believe it should stay there as other people have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.